would probably be my like, first ever day here. Actually, because the first ever day I came as for a co-op student, I got to help Brian and Mackenzie treat a great horned owl when it first came in. So like, probably the best experience because it was my first interaction with a wild animal that was probably up close and personal that I got to hold it and help it. My favorite job here, if you even consider it as a job, is I like to work with the birds of prey, um, especially our ambassadors here at Salt Haven. Um, I specifically work with our bald eagle spirit, um, and that has been my, my favorite job here at Salt Haven. Um, it's fun to learn his body language and his communication. Uh, it's on a whole different level, and it's a good challenge for me. The job that I enjoy the least here, uh, it used to be doing the dishes because I never liked getting my hands dirty in the water, um, but I've since started wearing gloves and rubber gloves helps. So now I don't mind doing dishes too much. <laughs> Stop. Atmosphere. Um, truthfully, I've worked in a lot of um, team um, formatted locations and uh, this is probably one of my favorites so far. Um, I think we just all have a really good bond. It's definitely a certain type of person that works out here. Um, someone who cares, has a big heart, um, and likes to work as a team. So I think personally this has been one of the best team building experiences that I've been around. I'm currently in my third year of my undergrad at the University of Guelph and I hope to eventually study at the Ontario Veterinary College. Initially I found out about Salt Haven a long time ago. I'm going to say uh, probably 19 years ago I had a sparrow hawk that flew into one of my windows uh, chasing a, a bird and Brian at that time I, I probably was pretty much just Brian that was doing the rescues and um, a vet uh, suggested that I call him. There's a gentleman in Mount, Mount Bridges that takes injured animals, birds, and I called and he came to my house and he picked that uh, sparrow hawk up and I was just so impressed. When the time came and I had some free time, uh, I interviewed and I was lucky to get chosen to come out here and be a part of this uh, fantastic um, Salt Haven family. I think we are at a critical time in terms of the management of the environment, climate change, uh, moving into wildlife habitat, everything. I think we're at a really critical time and the work here is important on a couple of levels. One every little bit helps. I mean, we're always taking, we need to give back as, as people. We're always taking from nature, let's say. The other part that I like here is reaching out to the public and educating them. Like the simplest thing about, you know, bird feeders or window uh, impact prevention. And so uh, what we do here is really, really important and the message we're small, but the message is big and the message is important. Yeah, of course. Everyone that's interested should definitely volunteer. Even if you don't have experience working with animals, there's lots of training beforehand, so you'll come in prepared even if you're uncomfortable with all of the animals. And you'll get to do so many new things that anyone that you talk to will never get to do in their lifetime. So. It's just a great learning experience for anyone that would be interested. Um, on a tough day, honestly, what probably keeps me going is my coworkers. <laughs> I know that's kind of an interesting answer, but um, it's always nice like knowing, obviously, you're helping animals and stuff at the end of the day, and that's why I'm here. Um, but having amazing coworkers and someone like Brian to work for is half the reason to be here. Um, you don't realize it coming here beforehand, but then being here, um, like the girls that I work with are absolutely amazing. We all get along so well, um, and that makes you want to come into work. Being able to like spend time with literally my friends basically here and work with them is so much fun.
I think it's going to improve it dramatically. Um, I was part of the group, um, along with Kim Pauley and Brian, uh, who were looking for places. And our real estate agent, Adam Salt, uh, found, I think probably about half a dozen. We would go out and we'd go around the property and you know view it and inside and check it out. And, uh, and then discuss you know the pros and cons of each site. And then when we found this one, uh, we were walking through it and we, the three of us just kind of looked at each other and said, yep, <laughs> this will work. We have a couple trainers working um, and it's just a few of us. So there is the same people working with critical patients almost all the time. So that's really good. So you can maintain a quality of care for the ones that really need it. But we could not do what we do with the number of animals without the volunteers. I have big dreams for Salt Haven. Uh, I don't know if there even anything that could ever happen, but I see it becoming not just our location, but we have one out west, but a couple different places as people move. Um, I want there to be Salt Haven representation all over. Um, it'd be awesome if schools could come to Salt Haven and see the facilities and get a hands-on view of what's actually happening. Um, I hope that we can keep expanding, but stay as a volunteer-based organization. I think that's one of the most important things about Salt Haven is that people that come here are giving their time. Um, so I think I want it to keep getting bigger and for pe more people to become involved as the time goes on and to take more animals, of course. <laughs>